Well, good morning. I thought I'd briefly come online to share a, a thought with you uh, that I hope will encourage you and perhaps bring encouragement and strength and comfort to those who are in particular need of it at this time. I, I've been thinking again on this theme of being in the wilderness. My thoughts turn to the book of Genesis early on in the Bible, in uh, chapter 16. And there we read about uh, a lady, a young lady called Hagar, uh, a lady who's beloved of God, um, who finds herself in the wilderness. And this is why Hagar was a, a servant of Sarah, the wife of Abram. And a, a difficult point in Sarah's life where she's frustrated about uh, God not bringing about the, the promises uh, on their lives to, to bring them a child. Uh, she ends up uh, mistreating Hagar. You can read uh, the ins and outs of the story later, but Hagar has been uh, mistreated by her master and, and life has just become untenable for her. And, and so she flees. She runs away and she finds herself in the wilderness uh, completely, uh, all, completely alone. But in that place, in the wilderness, in her utter distress and actually in her hopelessness she doesn't know uh, where she's going or where to turn she actually encounters the living God in the wilderness and she discovers that he has heard her cries of distress he has seen her in her misery he, he knows her heart and he knows the very circumstances of her life and he speaks good words over her. He gives her promises and, and he sends her back to the hard situation from which she has run and fled from. And she returns with fresh strength. And before returning, she says, uh, it says in, in chapter 16, verse 13, she gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I've now seen the one who sees me. I want to remind us of this very particular name for the Lord. That he is the God who sees. He sees us in the wilderness. He hears us when we're miserable. He sees and he knows the distress of our souls. And, and as he did with Hagar, he's able to pursue us and meet us even in the wilderness and speak good words over us. And sometimes just the, the knowledge of that, that he's with us and that he sees and that he does have plans for our future is enough for us to return and face the the difficult situation that we've been wanting to run away from. This is an encouragement, I hope, for all of us individually or, or perhaps particular ones of us who are finding this a very tough time. Uh, but I also wanted to share it uh, just to encourage uh, others to, to pray. I, I've been praying uh, in a particular way that the Lord would make us sensitive as God's people to, to hidden needs, that he would prompt us by his spirit. You know, there's so much uh, care and practical help available uh, to, to many, but there's always going to be hidden needs. And, and, and although these are hidden from human sight, God is the God who sees he knows all. And he's also the God who loves to partner with us as his people to bring about his loving and good purposes. So we can pray to the God who sees, Lord, would you would you prompt me to minister into hidden needs, to unseen needs, to give and to bring the knowledge of our loving God who sees to others who especially need it this day. I pray uh, God's blessing upon you, the blessing of the God who sees as you listen to these thoughts.